welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be making overnight oats three ways. This is a super simple breakfast or even a dessert kind of snack. Make sure you check the description box for all of the ingredients and the points for each of these. And let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to be putting the overnight oats in these little mason jars. So we're going to go ahead and just mix all of the individual ones. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first flavor. And I'll be using these old-fashioned whole grain oats. Do a half a cup for each mason jar. And I'll be using some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Do a half a cup of that. So equal parts. And then you'll just want to stir it and make sure there's enough milk. Next, I'm going to be adding some sugar-free maple syrup. We're going to do a tablespoon of that. So here's a half a tablespoon. So we're going to add two of these for sweetener. just add a little bit of splash of almond milk not enough to make it any points just add make sure it's well coated so it's like a half a cup with a tablespoon of milk which is still zero so now we're going to go ahead and do all of the other mason jars and fill them up Alright, next we're going to add the flavor to each individual one. The first one, I'm going to be making chocolate, peanut butter, and banana oats. So you'll need sugar-free chocolate pudding filling. This is the dry mix. We'll be using peanut powder with cocoa. And then you will need a banana. For the, we're going to add one half tablespoon of the chocolate pudding mix. And one half tablespoon of the peanut butter. And mix that. Chop up your banana. And at last, we're going to be drizzling sugar free chocolate syrup. We're only going to be using one teaspoon of this because it's already pretty sweet. We just want to add a little bit on top. So about that much. Alright, this is the banana chocolate overnight oats. I'm going to put the lid on and then we're going to pop this into the fridge. Next, we're going to be doing strawberry cream so you will need sugar-free vanilla pudding mix you will need some sugar-free french vanilla creamer i know it sounds i know that sounds a bit weird but trust me it's good some strawberries i take a half a tablespoon of the vanilla powder i take one tablespoon of the vanilla creamer one Right now, place your strawberries into the jar.
place the lid on. All right, last is my absolute favorite flavor. This is going to be a chocolate and fig, which is delicious. I'm going to take one half tablespoon of the chocolate pudding mix. And then one half tablespoon of the vanilla. We're going to take three of these figs, which are delicious. I love figs. <laughs> Look how pretty they are. And then just place that into the jar. There is your fig one. And then now just add the lid onto that. And place this one in the fridge as well. Alright, here are the overnight oats. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and try some of these overnight oats out. They are so good. My favorite is definitely the fig and then the banana is my second favorite. They're all really good though depending on what you like. So thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.